I'm Gordon Smart with Matt Morgan. We're on Radio X, standing in for Johnny Vaughan. It's Tuesday night, and I can say we have a proper rock and roll legend in the room right now. Taylor Hawkins, come on. Oh, okay, where's the proper rock and roll legend? Is... You're sitting right there. And uh, you're, you're no, just... me. I'm the proper rock. You rocker. are. You are. You've I got like a, that. I like this sort of indie parker you've got on as well. So you've come dressed for our station today. This is from Liam Gallagher's collection. Right <laughs> Did he give you that? I'm having it. No, I bought it. it cost me a thousand pounds too. And I texted him. <laughs> and I was like, I bought one of your parkas for a thousand bucks. I guess he's got his store, which is like the green something or other Pretty store. Green. But that's not where I got it. I got this up up near um, like St. Martin's Lane or whatever yeah. at some really high-end fancy stores. And I never buy nice clothes. Like I said, I drive a 2005 Subaru Baja. I don't... <laughs> I don't spend my money. I let my kids and wife spend my money. And um, but I, she was laughing because I was like, I have to have it. Yeah, I have to have it. It's just, good jacket. It's freaking amazing. I'm, yeah. I can't wait. So, Dave's gonna really wind me up about it for sure. Yeah, <laughs> Parker Monkey Taylor yeah, Hawkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Listen, Taylor, you're here to talk about the new album, right? Coming out next week. Correct. And you've got some guest list of talent on there as well, haven't you? Which is phenomenal. How do you go about getting those people on board and getting them signed up? Because kissing major major ass. Is that really, what it is? Essentially, yeah. A, a lot of sucking up. A lot, up, a lot as we of sucking it. up, and kissing yeah. ass, and yeah, kissing ass and taking names. No, I just I want. Originally, my idea was to do a lot of duets with women, mm -hmm. and so I actually asked. Um, and I did get some done, but not all. I wanted, I wanted Olivia Newton John really bad. Seriously, I, I didn't. And I didn't even go that far. It was just a polite decline. But I did get a bunch of other awesome ladies on there. I got uh, Chrissy Hine, yeah. obviously of uh, Pretenders fame. Um, Nancy Wilson, mm -hmm. the other Wilson sister. Leanne Rhymes. Leanne Rhymes, which okay. is super random, obviously, but she lives in my neighborhood, and I've become friends, and I. Just found her voice to be phenomenal. So. Did, that, did that come about through being neighbors? Or yeah, kind yeah. of. Seriously. Essentially, and kids going to the same school and playing on the same soccer teams and stuff like that. You know. So the school run has played its part in finding. Yeah, this absolutely. Club. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, Does that yeah. play a part in any of the other names on this amazing list of talent? Because there's some crackers on there. Where did you find Pat Smear? That must have been tricky. Oh man, that was that took a, that <laughs> took a lot of yeah that, yeah I didn't go far for that one. Duff McKagan as well, and that, a Mr. David Grohl. Da Mr. Dave Grohl, the guy from the um, Nirvana. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, chap, that chap. We have to call him David Grohl on this show right oh, really? do you know this stuff i told you the story before no today? i did not know so this. we interviewed his mum virginia oh, okay and she gave me a little slap on the wrist and said he is david Grohl. oh so from that day on he has been david Grohl. <laughs> yeah, 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 now yeah. we're going to talk loads about your music but there is one little clip i'd like to play you from virginia's interview with us oh, if you just no. have a little second have a little listen to this i'll play this for you here we go is taylor hawkins very polite in front of you or does he pay behave like he normally does um when when you're not around he is um yes he always he gives me a big hug after Oh, two sentences. He apologizes his first language. <laughs> I, I tell him to, just not to bother. I just say what you have to say. There she is. The lovely Virginia Grove. Oh, lovely she's, woman. She's our rock mom. What's your, what's your side of the story then? Does it, when she's backstage coming to watch a show, do you have to sort of mind your P's and Q's and behave yourself? Well, I, no. She's, she's <laughs> freaking seen it all. She doesn't yeah. She doesn't really care and she knows I'm a, I'm a louse. But, um, but you want to because, you know, it's like, it's a nice, sweet Dave's mom. You know, you want to try and not be like a rock and roll louse, but you can't help it sometimes. And an f bomb flies out of your mouth. So, oh, I'm sorry, Virginia. She's, sorry about that. Yeah. She's like, Why did, you don't have to do that. She's, I, she's corrected me about correcting myself a couple times. <laughs> she's a lovely woman. Isn't she? She's well, awesome. fantastic. Yeah. You? She's <laughs> very. Dave's very lucky to have had such a wonderful role model yeah, and she really is a wonderful lady right we're going to play cross the line tell us a little bit about that song before we play it um well that was one of the first songs you know like I, all these songs kind of started out as demos and once i finished that one actually that song had an original title and an original core or, or a different title a different chorus um it was the same piece of music but it was why are kids such now but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, why did you change that because i don't know i don't i just felt like the old man jerk you know yeah. like yeah you kids don't know what it's really like and back in my day before cell phones and, blah, 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 blah. and i just yeah. said i don't want to be that guy you know Especially and then it in a private jet uh, yeah exactly <laughs> and i and uh i don't know as someone has someone had just finally crossed the line in my life as far as i was concerned and this was about that line that people cross. You know, we all have been through that, and whether it's an, you know, a friend or 
an old friend, not a friend anymore, or a, yeah. a girlfriend, or you know, I'm you probably crossed the line with a few with a few ladies back in the day where they were done with you after that. You know, yeah. I always remember that about women too. That like once they're done with you, they're done. That's it. Guys, you know, guys are dumb. You know, so they'll be like. Go back. I'm not going out with you anymore. <laughs> We're done. I'm sick of you. But then they'll call you for a shag two weeks later and you'll show up anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the way. But girls, when they're done with you, they're done with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, and um, yeah, this was this was about someone I was just definitely done with at that time. So this is a song that's giving you some fire in your belly. Yeah. Here's another thing. We, we hope you'd settle this for us. Now, The Darkness, Justin Hawkins. Yeah. Crack and rock and roll star. I love him. He, he told Christopher Moyles that you are distant cousins. Apparently, there's shared Canadian and Irish heritage. So, Justin Hawkins and Taylor Hawkins, for the record, are you related? I don't know. <laughs> 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 but if he says so, I'll take. I'll say yes. We'll have that. Right. I, 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 I wish I had his pipes. Yeah, he's got some set of lungs. Just, in, God, the guy can freaking hit notes. He from, can't say. You know, one of my best mates and almost kind of like my little godson uh even though i worship the devil so that doesn't really matter um <laughs> is uh rufus taylor roger taylor's son yeah yeah and um who's on the album as well roger he plays he? yeah roger is but rufus is uh the drummer in the darkness uh, of Did course you not he know is. That? yes yeah, well, yeah. i remember the original lineup which was frankie yeah, pulley yeah, 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 he's now the drummer yeah, yeah. He's, he's an amazing drummer he's a great yeah. kid. cracking he's cracking drummer great yeah, superb stuff. <laughs> That's Foo Fighters and Monkey Ranch on Radio X. Gordon Smart and Matt Morgan, we are in for Johnny Vaughan. Taylor Hawkins is in the room right now wearing pretty green, and a picture of Liam Gallagher has just flashed up on the wall because we'll be playing that shortly. He's my mate. He's your pal, isn't he? He's my bro. Which is slightly tricky because... I love him. It, and uh, the and grand... then you guys said you guys are on the Noel Gallagher side here. I'm over no. here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we both are. Yeah, I mean, we're firmly another. Okay. Fan. Yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky. That I'm thing. not. <laughs> oh. At all. Hold on. The opposite. Right. So we played the Reading Festival, and I had a picture of the Gallagher brothers on my kick drum head. Yeah. Because I just put pictures of people on my... Yeah. I'll put Dave's face, or I'll put Roger Taylor's face, or I'll put, like, you know, one of my kids' faces. I just, I like to have fun with my kick drum head. It's yeah. like an advertising spot. And, um... I had the Oasis brother. I had the Gallagher brothers up on my kick drum, and, and I was like, "We're playing the Reading Festival. It makes sense, you know." And then I went up front to sing a song, and Dave went back to the drums, and I looked back at my kick drum head, and I said, "Ah, oh, isn't it great to have the Gallagher brothers back together again?" Uh, and then I said, um, "Let's all sign a petition to get Oasis to do a show again, out of love of their music. Yeah, nothing else." So Noel Gallagher, who was opening up for the Smashing Pumpkins in America at that time, goes, first night he goes, I say we start a, pot a petition to get the Foo Fighters to break up. Okay, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny, actually, whatever. And then the next night he goes, if the drummer for Nirvana, now, now Noel, if you're hearing this, he didn't say it, I said it. He goes, the drummer for Nirvana, he didn't even say Dave, you know, to, as to make him sound like, you know, lower him, wants Oasis to get back together. He can come up on this stage right now and suck my you-know-what. <laughs> but I'm hoping now that he will lighten up a little bit and come to his senses and get the good singer back for his band. Right. That's what I'm hoping. I, I just think that that would be really nice, you know, because everybody wants to see that. And and uh, Liam's having a lot of success. I mean, he's doing two nights at the O2 Arena. Do you mm -hmm. think that Potato Gallagher and the Low Charting Turds could do two nights at the oh. at the uh, at the <laughs> O2 Arena? <laughs> oh. I mean, listen, I know that Taylor Hawkins and the Coattail Riders might be able to like do the Scala. Right. If we're lucky. <laughs> I know my lane. I'm, yeah, I know yeah, my lane. Right. I stay in my lane. Yeah. I know when I'm going to play a stadium, it's going to be because Dave Grohl's up front. Right, I right. know that. I know I know that. But um, no, he was really mean. He was really a I jerk. See, when Noel does this stuff, right, I always remind people that he doesn't like the Beach Boys. You know, he's, he can just be sharp-tongued sometimes. For, and it's, well, uh, Liam's just as sharp-tongued. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. I it's, mean, it's Liam's brutal, actually it? funnier than Noel, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
But uh, and I met nothing by it when, by yeah. putting the Oasis Brothers up there. I mean, and I met nothing by uh, yeah. saying. But I'm just like uh, saying what everybody wants to say. Yeah. Someday, and they will do it someday because the money will just be too good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, um, the, what's the figure? But you know, and Noel's also the guy who wrote all the songs, so he's he's the one that's got all the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you know, I, all the other cats they got to work, man. Um, I you know half the reason I'm still in the food fires because Dave knows I need to make a living. <laughs> <laughs> you could have got someone yeah. better a long time ago, and. You know, I, uh, you know, Noel fired everyone eventually from Oasis and then eventually just broke it up, you know, but whatever. I don't care. He's a jerk. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You guys like him. I'm team Liam all the way. Oh, well, we're, uh, you know what? It's team No, and that's life, but we're all oh. friends here. We're all friends here. Um, listen, Taylor, we've, we're going to blow, blow smoke up your ass to tell you you're a brilliant rock star all the time, right? Oh, but man. Can you take us back for a second and, and take us to your worst ever gig? Can you give us a show where... Oh, uh, my God. The worst ever gig... We were opening up for the Chili Peppers. This is back in the 90s, late 90s, maybe 2000. And we decided, since it was the last show, first of all, we dropped like a thousand um, pounds or a thousand like golf balls on their heads. And then <laughs> pasta. <laughs> Like all over at their and well, on the band on the band right so yeah the tradition is yeah. normally that the support act of a tr prank played at them but you went no we went band. full right and they did something but I don't think it was that big of a deal <laughs> uh, it wasn't that big of a deal um, and but that before we went on stage this one get hammered you know all the time we uh, we got so freaking hammered before we went on stage. We just couldn't even play. At all. Just I think that we literally played like three songs <laughs> and then just laid <laughs> on the stage and just kind of like people were like booing us. And it, it was a really a low point. Were you second support as well? So like just warming up for the main band? Yeah. No, you know who was opening up before us was Muse. It was Muse. Oh, wow. I mean, this is yeah. a long time ago. This was Muse, Foo Fighters, and the Chili Peppers. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, I mean, yeah. how did they take to having a thousand golf balls dropped on their head as well? They were fine with that. It's when the pasta landed on them. Right, right, right. Oh, is this cooked or is this fresh? It was is cooked. This... <laughs> <laughs> so it sticks to them for the yeah. rest of the gig, yeah. Yeah, no, they were fine with it. They oh, were good, good sports about it. Uh, Chad's still one of my best friends. Radio X.